Hey guys, it's Porter here, and we finally have an official date for Fallout 76 beta. Before I start, if you could drop a like, subscribe, and comment on the video, that would mean a lot to me. Alright, so a couple days ago, Bethesda updated their FAQ for Fallout 76 beta and released the official cinematic intro to Fallout 76, so if you want to check it out, click the eye on the right hand corner. Okay, so getting into the info, the beta will start first Tuesday, October 23rd for Xbox One. And fun fact, you guys didn't know, this is the day that the bombs dropped in the Fallout universe, and a week later, the beta will start for PC and PlayStation 4, Tuesday, October 30th. And in case you're wondering why Xbox players get to play a week before everyone else, it is because of the exclusivity deal Microsoft made with Bethesda regarding the beta. But there is one big downside to all this, and that's that the beta won't be running 24-7. I'll leave a link to where they talk about it down below. So basically, how it's going to work is they plan on running the servers at certain intervals of time, to say at a max of 4-8 to eight hours, and I'll notify you via your Bethesda account to tell you when you can play the game and how long it'll last. And the reason for this decision apparently is to test server stability for the game so they can improve any problems that might occur. Now, they never really got into how long the beta is going to last. The most we got from the FAQ is that it'll go on till the launch. So technically the beta could go on till the game is released Wednesday, November 14th or a couple days before it releases. Fallout 76 will be a 45 gigabyte game, so about 17 gigabytes more than Fallout 4 was, excluding the DLCs, and apparently it won't be available for preload right now, which kinda does suck cause depending on your download speed, it could be a good 4 hours or more till you're actually able to play the game. Especially if you're on PC, cause if you guys didn't know, Bethesda.net's launcher isn't the best when it comes to downloading games from there. But on the bright side, if you pre the game on PC and you plan to play the beta on there, once you download the beta on PC, you want to download the full game when it releases since the beta is technically the full game, but if you plan on playing the beta on console, you want to download the full game at launch. And in case any of you PC players are wondering the specs for Fallout 76 have been announced, well sadly they haven't. Now I wouldn't worry too much about it since Fallout 76 isn't that much of a graphical improvement from Fallout 4. Heck, some people are even saying that the game looks even worse than Fallout 4. But rest assured, if you could play Fallout 4, then you will be able to play Fallout 76. Before I close out this video, just give me my opinion on how the beta will work. I'm like a lot of you guys out there. I'm not all that happy about how they're handling it because a lot of you guys may be working or if you're like me at college preparing for an exam, wouldn't it make playing the game a variable? And there's a pretty good chance you won't be able to play it because of that. One thing that bothers me is the time zones. They never mentioned or said how they're going to work around that globally, let alone in America where we have four different time zones. So I can definitely see that being a really big problem that's going to tick a lot of people off. But anyway guys, that's the end of the video. Let me know your thoughts on the beta down below in the comment section. And if you enjoyed the video and found it helpful in any way, drop a like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification for more Fallout 76 news. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.